Hello, my fellow Sagittarians. How are you? I hope you guys had a wonderful January and are gearing up for February because it's right there. And you know it's in the middle of February, right? It's the all-romantic Valentine's Day. For those of you that are in a relationship, happy Valentine's Day, guys. And for those of you that are hoping to meet someone special this month, well, get out there. Break away from your blocks from your walls that you have set up to protect yourself, Sagittarian, and get out there and meet someone new because it's very possible that either someone that you already know may go from being a friend to being a passionate lover or you may meet someone new that just happens along on your path because you get out there and just go about your normal life and try to experience something new this month. I would like to thank you guys deeply for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, all of your comments. I do appreciate you very much. You have no idea how much you have supported me and helped me along on my spiritual path and helped me feel um, confident about what I'm doing with my videos and for all of you. So I want to thank you from my heart, guys. I appreciate you like you have no idea. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, because these are general readings, and if you want one that's specifically for you and for your questions and your issues, please contact me via my my site up there. There's a link where the little I is. It's risestarot.blogspot.com. If you'd like to write to me and ask me uh, something in particular, please try my email. It's riseshealingarts11 at gmail.com, and you can write to me anytime. Also, I would like to ask you guys to go ahead and listen to your rising sign and your moon sign this month. Um, your sun sign expresses pretty much who you are. It's, it's who you are internally, but your rising sign is the persona that you put out to others. It's how others perceive you as well. And your moon sign is all about your emotions how you internalize those feelings, how you express emotionally, what you like when it comes to a, a romantic partner, how you want them to be. So it's really important. It's all part of your personality. So if you would like, go ahead and listen to the other videos if you have time. That way you get sort of a well-rounded romantic video for this month of February, my dear Sagittarians. And without further ado, Let's see what the energies are going to be like for our month this month. And it's a toughie, but I think there was one other sign that had three major arcana cards that came out, and so did we. Of course, we're special and we're, <laughs> we're always being picked on by the universe, I think. No, I'm kidding. The first card that you're getting for the month of February, Sagittarian, is the Tower card. It's suppression. It's feeling pain and oppression from past experiences, which hopefully you're going to get past this month because really you do deserve to be loved. You're very special and uh, there is a wonderful partner out there for you that wants to bring some stability and some control into your life, some support, which you definitely need, some power, someone that wants to be the patriarch of your love life, of your life in complete. So it will also bring some abundance, my dear Sagittarians. So let's see. The first card is the Tower card. There you are. You're feeling oppressed by the pressures, by the different anxieties and stresses and situations that you've been into in your life in the past. See back here how you have all that turbulent water and there's a ship coming in. So there's hope. There's something that's coming that's going to change your life or how you perceive your romantic life. You no longer will feel this oppression or this segregation or separation, this wall that you have put up in order to keep from feeling emotions anymore, from having romantic partners come into your life. This is all about to change, my fellow Sagittarians. In the middle of the month, we'll have this feeling like this emperor that really wants to sweep us off our feet. He wants to bring power and stability and union into our lives. It's someone that's going to be a man that's very much in control of their lives or a woman, okay? If you are a male and you're listening to this channel at the moment. It's bringing stability. It's bringing control into your life. It's bringing partnership that rules very fairly, kindly, very loving. So it's a very wonderful 
unbalanced relationship that's coming for you, Sagittarian. You just need to view things from a different perspective and, and try to open up your heart because being in this state is not going to help you, okay? This new relationship is going to bring a lot of fertility, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness into your life, okay? For some of you, it'll even bring pregnancy, so you will be having a, a child from this new person that comes into your life because you finally open up to new possibilities, new love into your life, Sagittarian. It's about time. If you guys are in a relationship, you're going to have a lot of realizations of this oppression that you've had from the past. It's a pattern. It's something that you need to let go of so that you can finally be happy with your partner. Your partner is hoping that these changes do occur within you because they do love you deeply. And they want to help you. They want to have this beautiful partnership that brings control, that brings stability, that brings equality, that brings partnership where both of you can be together. It's a passionate relationship. But you need to get rid of this stuff that lingers in your heart from the past, okay? Because you do have someone that's very loving and wants to be there with you. To be able to move forward with the family in a very loving way. Some of you are wanting to have a child, but you need the stability. You need to know that your partner and your partner needs to feel it as well, that they have someone that's going to back them up, someone that's going to be with them, someone that's going to be stable. All right, Sagittarian, I know that sometimes you get very flighty. You want to go. There's that fight and flight instinct within you that you cannot change. And that's because of our, it's our sign. It has a lot to do with it. And it makes you feel like you have to go, like there's the green grass is over there and you're over here struggling that's not true the grass is just as green where you are as it is over there and then the other one way over there where you're where you're throwing your arrows out you need to really take a look at what you've got in your relationship and maybe realize that perhaps the grass wasn't greener or isn't greener on the other side the thing is you need to see sometimes a sagittarian is forward looking they're looking at something else or doing something else and they tend to miss the little details of what they have in their lives at the moment. And it isn't as bad, perhaps, as they perceive it to be. These these feelings of, of, of constantly being oppressed or, or, or controlled or told what to do. Some situations don't, um, they don't flourish with so much control. So releasing a little bit of, of control on your partner or trying not to control the situation so much or think of, how it should be and only go down that rigid way in the way that you think or in a way that you perceive a relationship to be. That doesn't always work. So you need to kind of cut some slack where your partner is concerned and yourself because you need to realize that perhaps a partnership that you're in is very important and it's a partnership that could last the test of time. You just need to Focus on what you do have. It could bring you a lot of prosperity, a lot of love, maybe even children if that's what you're looking for. Or this partner might already have children, so they might need a, a stable relationship or someone that they feel is going to be there with them. So you need to settle down, Sagittarian, because you have a good relationship at the moment and you want to strengthen that up so that it does um, last the test of times. And like I said, if you're single, there is someone that's coming. Could be a fire sign because um, Aries is always signified by the Emperor. And this is what this card is. It represents the Emperor. So maybe there's another fire sign coming into your life. Or maybe it's just another sign or another person that's going to bring a lot of stability into your life. Leadership into your life. Someone that you're going to be able to lean on as a partner. And know that they're there with you. That they're there for you. And it is safe for you to love, whether you're in a relationship or not, Sagittarius. Don't be afraid. Don't keep putting up a block for your heart. You need to unblock that chakra so you can move forward. It's safe. There's someone that's there that wants your attention, and you're, you need to pay attention to that person that's there. You're in a relationship already with this person, okay? So you need to know that this person loves you. For those of you that are single and looking, the angels are trying to point you in the direction of the person that already exists in your life. You need to look at them because they're already there. For some of you, it's somebody that's coming in that's new that you have yet to meet. Someone that does bring a lot of stability into your life. Okay, If your relationships have been a little bit chaotic up to now, there's a reason for that. 
They're trying to teach you a lesson. They're trying to teach you what you need to always be able to immediately um, recognize and move away from it because you already know what it brings you. And it's not this. It's not the stability and the support that you need from a partner. So this person is coming. Be aware that it is safe for you to open your heart. Don't put up a block because the person is near. cornucopia and it's upside down so you're blocking you know by having that constant struggle within yourself and putting up blocks you're you're blocking the abundance that is supposed to come into your life okay like this it's unlimited abundance so there's choices that you need to make there's walls that you need to remove from your heart in order to receive this unlimited abundance that you will receive what this new person is bringing into your life what this person that you're already with if you're in a relationship can bring into your life if only you trust them spend some time alone in meditation sagittarius Meditating about what you desire, what you wish to come into your life, what your intentions should be in a relationship, what you would want someone else to bring into a relationship, what your boundaries will be like, so that you can start to paint that picture. Paint the picture of what you want your relationship to be or your life to be. This is whether you're in a relationship or not. You have the control. You have created where you are now and you have the control to fix it, to change it, to make it what you truly want in your life. Spend some time alone painting that picture again, Sagittarius, so, all right? So that you could bring into your life what you want. And then you have right in the middle here, Archangel Michael telling you that he's got your back. That he's there helping you make these changes in your life so that you can be happy. So that you can bring into your life what you're asking him for, what you're asking the angels for, okay? It's change that will help you work on your divine life purpose, whatever that is. For each one of us, it's different, Sagittarius, okay? But Michael is here to help you this month. Thank him for all the help that he will bring you. Get out there and do some different things with your life, Sagittarius. Don't spend the month working or sitting at home. Go out by yourself for a little while and try to envision what you would like to bring into your life and then get out there and take some action to meet new people to get out there and bring what you desire into your life you need to have that forward movement okay to bring what you truly desire into your life <laughs> i love you guys talk to you next month bye for now